Hello and welcome to Talking Tolkien. Today we're going to look at a newly released edition of The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. It's something, it's been out for a couple of weeks now. I had it pre-ordered at a really good price, but then after waiting a week after release it was cancelled. So it finally arrived yesterday and I'm pleased to be able to show you this one. So what this is, box set, Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, hardback, and it's illustrated by Alan Ling. Before we get into that, I'll just give a quick overview of like similar Lord of the Rings books because, well, kind of with the Alan Lee illustrations, the first one to my knowledge that was released was this imposing tome, which was the one volume edition of Lord of the Rings. This was released to mark um, Tolkien's 100 years since Tolkien's birthday in 1992. Okay, so it's a really nice book, clearly, but it's not that easy to read. You wouldn't want to sit in bed and read this. Not with my arms anyway. So I'm going to put that down. Um, so if you wanted something more portable and you wanted something hardback, I suppose recently you've had these ones that were released in 2005. These are nice because they had Tolkien's um, original proposals for the front covers on them. There's Fellowship of the Ring. I've got Return of the King here. So you can see that one. Um, I don't know where Two Towers is. I was reading it a few weeks ago and I can't find where I've put it, but you get the idea with those. Now these aren't illustrated, right? So they've just got the text in. It was the text which was reset after the 50th anniversary of the book in 2004. So that went through a big revision in 04. So that's what these use. So these use that, that new version, but they're not illustrated. So what we've got now is these which are illustrated. Now we'll start with Fellowship of the Ring. This is what it looks like. So illustrated front and back. Now the um, the dust jackets, they're not glossy, it's like a matte finish. So if you've seen the recent versions of Baron and Luthien or um, Fall of Gondolin, then you know the kind of cover it is. And what I also think is really nice is, I'll just show you now, how well these fit in with some of those existing later books. All we're waiting for now is The Silmarillion and Unfinished Tales, maybe. So what we've got here is, first of all, we open it up and we can see the map right there. Take my hand away a bit. Okay, so that's the map. That's in the front and end papers of the book. So you can see that clearly. Another thing that's really striking from a first flick through is, I don't know if you'll be able to pick this up on the camera, but you see the top of the page, the writing is in red text. So again, that, that goes all the way through and just adds quite a quality look of it. Probably a little bit old fashioned, but that's a good thing in my book. Um, certainly some older books I've read have got had a similar style going on. So that's really good. We've got, what else have we got? We've got, well this is, here's the um, copyright page for it if you haven't seen that. So released in 2020. Now the printers for this, just to get into this a little bit, um, these are printed in Slovenia. A lot of the previous versions, for example, those deluxe editions, which you might have seen, I've done some videos on them before, there's quite a lot of them out now. And generally the first editions of those have been printed somewhere like um, Clays in St. Ives, or I think some were printed in Italy. And the general feeling was those first editions were probably better quality binding than some of the later editions which were printed in China. I mean, I can still say that, but I had the first edition of the History of Middle Earth, the big box set, which it was one of the first videos I did ages ago. And the quality of that, that was printed, I think it was a mixture actually, weirdly. It was printed by Clay's and it was printed in Italy. And it was really um, a bit of a mixed bag with some of those. I know for mine, the binding of the book like this um, this area on the edge, the paper wasn't matching with it and it was all coming off. So I had to send that back for a refund. So anyway, what I'm saying is that there have been some issues with some of the quality of binding in the books. But what I can say is these are really nice. So buy these with confidence that they're really nice looking books. We've got um, inside, we've got a ribbon for each one. If you want to keep your place, let's try and find them. There we are, ribbon. Yes, very good. And that's in red to go with the writing which also goes with the colour of the book 
outside of the dust jacket. Other nice things, well I've forgotten to mention the nicest thing so far, which is that it's illustrated by Alan Lee. So these illustrations um, go back, again, say to 1992. So, so if you have seen that previous book I showed you, you might be familiar with it. There was also one released, a blue one, I don't actually have it, a one volume of The Lord of the Rings, and that was illustrated as well. So really, these are based on that, but rather than having one book, which can be difficult to read, you've got the three volumes also with The Hobbit included. So that's the main difference. But I'm sure you're familiar with some of the artwork like this. I'll show you one more, shall I? There we are. Okay, they get bonus points for um, for the box. So there's the cover of the box as well. So that's, um, I mean, that's one of my favorite Alan Lee paintings. I think that's a brilliant picture. It's on the Tolkien calendar this year as well for The Hobbit. But the box itself even, that you're getting it all in, it's really solid. So, excuse me, cat. Um, so this isn't gonna fall apart, I say that pick on that History of Middle Earth box again and it's a little bit, um, what's the word? It's not as, I'm trying to be diplomatic, you know, it, it's quite, it's not very strong. So that's The Hobbit. In total in there, there are um, 18 pictures. Now the only difference between this and this one, apart from the illustrations and what I've gone through, is the notes on the text. So this one, and like the 50th anniversary, if you've got that, they have a note on the text which was written to discuss any changes that were made to the, the revisions in the text. So in this one, we've got a note on the text, which is a few pages, which was written in 2004 by Douglas Anderson. And then that was revised again in 2014 by Wayne G. Hammond and Christina Skull. So you don't have those in this. But I mean, this, that, that's really talking about just, you know, how the text has been typed and, and reset. So this, this is purely the story. So, you know, wh whether you're missing something or not is up to you, but, but you, I don't really think it's anything to, to worry about. So that's the Fellowship of the Ring. Next one, we've got the two towers. I'll try and, um, let's try this. So two towers, again, like a nice dark red color. Here's the dust jacket. Okay, hopefully you can see that okay. Again, just like the, um, the previous uh, volume, really nice dust jacket. Try and put that back on without creasing it. And again, the pages here use the mixture of red and, you know, that, that you've got in the map at the start. The pages are as if you were reading it all in one volume. Remember, The Lord of the Rings isn't intended to be three books. It was just released that way uh, due to limitations at the time. So the pages are numbered consecutively throughout. So from where the Fellowship of the End book ends, this one starts at like page 420. So it all goes through as one book as it was intended to be. So that's good to see. That's the right way to be doing it. So at the start of The Two Towers, it's got a brief one-page synopsis, which just gives an overview of what happened in The Fellowship of the Ring. And the other thing to mention, so there's 16 paintings in here. So there's an example of one of them. I'll show you one more at random. There we go. Dead Marshes. Okay. And that is The Two Towers. Next up is The Return of the King. Again, red book. Now, this is the dust jacket, clearly. Right, if you want a criticism, you can have a look. You see this back, back page? It's like got a border image, which is the only one in the set that does this. I don't know why they chose to do that. It looks a little bit odd. It's not a huge issue, I just think. I'm just surprised because they obviously took a lot of care and attention with the rest of the set. I'm surprised that they left that up there. But yeah, it's okay. So again, in here, it's got all the appendices and things like that that you would 
expect. To my mind, there's nothing missing in here. Um, a couple of the pictures. I think there's 15 in here. Let's have a double check. 15 pictures, that is. Yep, 15 uh, paintings. Yeah, he's he a good one. Okay. And really, just to show you this, just to compare the size of this one with the previous um, version, non-illustrated, okay, so there's no pictures in it for a start, but this is The Return of the King. It's the same book. And you look at how much bigger the... Um, new version is. I think it's to do with spacing of the characters. Obviously there's pictures in there but it just I mean you can when you've got them side by side you can compare the paper and the paper looks so much better in this um this new version. I'm really impressed. This right this I would rather buy this than those deluxe editions. If you look at those deluxe editions this is what you want. Um, and I know there's an updated version an illustrated version of Unfinished Tales coming out towards the end of the year. And if that's half as good as this, then I think, you know, it's definitely in for some, some good books on the way. Um, definitely when compared to those deluxe editions. I mean, deluxe is just a word, right? It doesn't necessarily mean anything. Uh, and then finally, we have The Hobbit. So there's the cover. Brilliant, brilliant um, painting on the cover. And again, another iconic image on the back. That's been used on the front cover of a few uh, copies, I'm sure you've seen. Okay, a green, ooh, green bookmark there, and clearly green cover like the first edition. You know, again, it's all iconic stuff with the Hobbit. We've got the map at the front page. Might be a bit of a shame that it's not a fold-out map. And I just had a look actually in the Fellowship of the Ring. Used to have the Book of Marsable, which was. Um, which was added for the 50th anniversary. That's not in it either. It's a minor thing, but so there are a couple of bits that aren't in it. Um, and in this, we've got how many paintings, pictures? Oh, we've got tons. We've got 27 in here. Here's something I noticed, which is again just a minor issue. I think the QC, the quality control has been really good on this and they're, they're definitely quality books but there's just that one there we noticed that that hadn't been clipped off properly. It had folded back. I'll get my scissors out, I'll fix it and no one ever has to know except for this video. But yeah, it's just a little thing. Um, what's nice in this as well, we've also got a few sketches along the way. You can see um, there, nice Alan Lee sketches. If you like his stuff, I did a video on the Alan Lee sketchbook, you can go back and find that as well. That's um, you know, that's always good if you're into his paintings. I'll just show you one more of the coloured pictures. I can find one. Here we are. Okay. Um, I don't think there's too much more to say on this. There's the, the front page. Just quality throughout. It's really been well thought through. The um, Whereas the Lord of the Rings had the red writing at the top of the pages that I showed you, this one's got the green writing, if you can see that. Really good book. I think this is brilliant. I'd buy this on its own. It's, it's a great, um, great version of the book. So I think that pretty much sums it up. We've looked at the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit, illustrated by Alan Lee, the latest box set from HarperCollins. Overall, I think it's a brilliant set. I'm really, really impressed by it. Um, so yeah, if you're after a book that's illustrated, I don't think you can go far wrong with that. Thanks for watching the video. Please, um, if you've enjoyed it, like and subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends, tell your family. Um, thanks to everyone that's subscribed recently. I keep trying to make more videos, but life keeps getting in the way. Hopefully, things will get better one day. Um, but, and I'm almost about to monetize it. It's taken me like two and a half years, but I think I'm just about at the, the right amount now. So for everyone's support so far, thank you. Hopefully there's much more to come. Any questions, comments, put them down at the bottom. and. Um, See you next time. Thanks for watching.